Hi, brain tumors are abnormal growths that occur in the brain or surrounding tissues. At Welling Homeopathy, we treat brain tumors with our specially formulated homeopathic treatment. They can cause a variety of symptoms and can be either benign or malignant. In this video, we will be discussing what are brain tumors and end the video with the most common treatment options that are available for you. So welcome to Dr. Welling's Health Show. There are two main types of brain tumors, primary and metastatic. So primary brain tumor originate in the brain while metastatic brain tumor begins in other parts of the body and spread to the brain. Different types of brain tumors include primary brain tumors like gliomas. These are the most common types of primary brain tumor. They originate in the brain's supportive tissue and can occur at any age. So gliomas are differentiated by the type of cells they originate from, including astrocytomas, oligodendrogliomas, and ependymomas. Next is meningiomas. Meningiomas are tumors that develop in the brain's lining. They are usually slow growing and benign, but in some cases they can become cancerous or malignant. Pituitary tumors. They are rare tumors that develop in the pituitary gland. They can cause hormonal imbalances and affect the brain's growth and development. Schwannomas. They are the tumors that develop in the cells that wrap around the nerve fibers. They are usually benign and can occur in the brain or spinal cord. Medulla blastomas. These are the tumors that develop in the cerebellum which is responsible for movement and coordination. They are most common in children and can be very aggressive. And then metastatic brain tumor. These are the tumors that I already said they spread to brain from other parts of the body such as lungs or breast. They are more common than primary brain tumors. The brain tumors can cause a variety of range of symptoms depending on the size, location and type. So some of the most common symptoms of brain tumor can be headache, seizures, memory loss, then change in vision or hearing, difficulty speaking, changes in mood and personality, and other symptoms that can come up like dizziness, fatigue, sleep disturbances, and change in appetite or weight. So the treatment option for brain tumor depends on the type, size, and location of the tumor as well as the patient's age, overall health and other factors. So now let's discuss the common treatment options for brain tumors. So if you're looking for more holistic and natural approach for brain cancer treatment, you should look out for our homeopathic treatment developed at Welling Homeopathy Clinics. Our specialized treatment has been developed to not only help in regression of the brain tumor, prevention and further spread, but also to relieve the painful side effects of traditional treatments like chemo or radiation therapy. With Welling Homeopathy's medicine for brain cancer, you can experience a better quality of life and a more positive reaction to even other treatments. Our expert team has specially developed a personalized approach to treating brain cancer that takes into account the unique needs and preferences of each individual patient. So if you or your loved one is struggling with brain cancer, you should consider the benefits of Welling homeopathic medicines. Let us help you achieve the relief and comfort that you really deserve. Usually the most common treatment for brain tumor is surgery. Surgery is usually the first line of treatment. The goal of surgery is remove as much as tumor as possible without causing damage to surrounding brain tissue. In some cases, the complete removal of tumor may not be possible and additional treatments may be needed. Then we have radiation therapy. It is often used in conjunction with surgery to treat the brain tumors. So radiation therapy uses high energy beams to kill the cancer cells or prevent them from growing. It can be delivered externally or even internally depending on the location of the tumor. Chemotherapy is a type of cancer treatment 
that uses drugs or medicines to kill the cancer cells or prevent them from growing. It is usually administered orally or through intravenous and it can be used alone or in combination with surgery and radiation therapy. Then we have something called as targeted therapy. A newer type of cancer therapy that uses drugs or other substances to target specific molecules involved in the growth and spread of cancer cells. It is often used in combination with other treatments and it can be tailor-made to the patient's specific type of brain tumor. Now, clinical trials are research studies that evaluate new treatments or combination of treatments for brain tumor. Patients who participate in clinical trials may have access to latest new treatments that are not yet available for the general public. So the choice of treatment will depend on many factors including the type and location of the exact tumor cells, the patient's general health and the patient's preferences. Treatment plans are typically developed by a team of healthcare professionals which might include neurosurgeons, then you have radiation oncologists and medical oncologists. So it is important for patients to discuss all of your treatment options with a doctor or a healthcare team and to make an informed decision based on their individual experience, needs and preferences. So the prognosis for brain tumor depends on the type and the location of tumor as well as very importantly the age and the general health. Some brain tumors can be successfully treated and removed, while others may be more difficult to treat. So the outlook of patients with brain tumors has improved over the last few years due to advances in treatment options and early detection. So brain tumors are a serious medical condition that can cause a variety of symptoms and they require specialized care. So it is important for patients to be aware of the different types of brain tumors, the symptoms which can arise early on and the available treatment option. Because early detection and treatment can improve the prognosis and outlook for the patient with brain tumor. That's all in today's episode of Dr. Welling's Health Show. Subscribe to this channel if you like this video. Bye and take care.